brings you to the library? Looking for something interesting? I quite like the sound of pages turning. It's rather soothing, don't you think? Almost like a gentle breeze. You know, Hogwarts is such a fascinating place. There is always something new to discover. I've been wandering these halls for years. And I still find surprises around every corner. Being a ghost has its moments, I suppose. Although sometimes I do wish I could experience things like you do, in the flesh. <laughs> but in flesh, I could never do something like this. <laughs> and this. me for jumping through your head, are you? But it's so amusing. See? <gasps> yeah, it definitely has its moment. Although, I must admit, it can be a bit of a challenge. When it comes to giving hugs, it's hard to get a good squeeze when your arms keep passing <laughs> through people. Mm. But at least it makes a good entertainment, right? Oh, it's just one of many talents as ghosts possess. I can float through walls and listen in on conversations without anyone noticing. It can be rather amusing to eavesdrop on people's secrets. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be uncovered. Like the one I'm about to show you. I want us to retrieve Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. Legend says that Rowena Ravenclaw imputed the diadem the wisdom of centuries. I've always been curious about the mysteries of the world. But with the diadem's power, I could unlock secrets beyond my wildest imagination. Um, I don't know. Perhaps I could help guide lost souls to find peace. Or unravel ancient mysteries hidden within Hogwarts walls. With your assistance, I'm sure we'll uncover the Titan's location in no time. And who knows what adventures are waiting for us once we possess its power. I know that her daughter Helena has hidden it. I don't know where. But I have something. And you'd be surprised at the things one can find while drifting through the corridors of Hogwarts. I yes, I have Marauder's Map. You're wondering that how is it that I, a ghost, can interact with physical objects? You see, even though my form is ethereal, I still possess a connection to the world the living, though I may have passed beyond the veil, my connection to this world remains, allowing me to hold objects. And while my form may be ghostly, my presence in this world is very much real. It allows me to aid you in your endeavors, to guide you on your journey, and to share in the wonders of Hogwarts once more. I still don't know how to hug people. Did you know you can use this map to track the movement of generations of awkward students? It 
provides a historical record of past events and activities within the cause. If Helena Ravenclaw hit the diadem within Hogwarts, there must be a record of her movements. Let's focus on the time period when she walked along these halls. We must look for any anomalies, any deviations from her regular patterns of movements within the course. Yes, something unusual. Look, Helena appears to have spent an extended period in the Forbidden Forest. Let's focus our search on this alcove. If the diadem is hidden there, we must find a way to retrieve it. She spent some time within this alcove. We must go back in time and go to the Forbidden Forest. It won't be easy. The Forbidden Forest is vast and treacherous, filled with magical creatures and dangers. But I have a time turner. I believe it's time we use it to travel back to the year when Helena hit the Titan. It is a fascinating device, capable of altering the fabric of time itself. You're wondering why I don't? Back in time and change what happened to me. You see, past is a delicate thing. I've come to realize that my death, as tragic as it was, has I'm fine. I do not wish to change my past. Um, my death has given me a unique perspective on the world. For me, it's just another chapter of the story of my existence. And while I do not wish to change my past, I can make the difference in the present. So, shall we focus on using the time turner for something worthwhile? Something that we can make positive impact on the world around us? What if we went back in time to a moment before Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem was turned into a Horcrux? We can find it and prevent from falling into the wrong hands. Are you ready? Uh, let's do it. known for her quick wit and sharp intellect. But she was also fiercely independent, carving her own path in the world of magic. Let's investigate. The diadem should be hidden within. Isn't it? We'll have to rely on our instincts. Follow the whispers of the trees. We'll find it alcohol soon. And 
when we do, the dungeon will be within our grasp. Unlocking its secret and power. Also, the forest has a language of its own, and if we quiet our minds, it will reveal the secrets. Can you sense it? The ancient magic that flows through every leaf and every blade of grass. It's just a little further, I can feel it. That must be it. The hidden alcove. It's beautiful. Yes, Helena always had a knack for finding the most enchanting spots. Ancient magic imbued with the wisdom of generations. Legend says that Rowena Ravenclaw crafted this item to unlock the deepest recesses of her mind, to bestow upon its wearer the gift of unparalleled wisdom. But with great power comes great responsibility. The diadem has the potential to shape destinies, to alter the course of history itself. I'm not sure I can entrust it to you. The diadem is a potent artifact, and its influence can be both a blessing and a curse. But perhaps you are the one who can unlock its true potential and use its power wisely. Take it, and may it guide you on your journey. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility.